On a breezy summer night, people gathered in the village of Wauwatosa to enjoy the fresh air, have a bite to eat, and spend quality time with family and friends. But while some were having a casual night out on the town, others were mixing paints, setting up easels, and getting loose for a high stakes paint off. Here where Harwood and Underwood Avenues meet State Street was the site of Art 64. It's an art extravaganza in the heart of the Tosa Village, a painting tournament of 64 artists put on to spotlight the diversity of talent in the state and beyond. From Florida. And to support local businesses hit hard by the pandemic. It was a collaboration that was beneficial to many and inspiring to all. I want to welcome everybody to tonight's very first ever Art 64 event. Day one, round one. Contestants were given 60 minutes to complete an environmentally themed painting. Landscapes are often inspired by a scene, and since time was tight, the painters were allowed visual aids to help guide them. There was no seeding. Matchups were determined by sequential order. One versus two, three versus four, five versus six, and so on. Conditions were favorable, although the breeze was stiff. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Art 64 2022 was underway. I'm trying to channel Bob Ross, my most Bob Ross. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. That's Carol Milos, hailing from West Dallas. She chose a beautiful sunset with lots of gorgeous color for her first round painting. This is Dave Watkins of Milwaukee, finishing up an abstract painting of the Milwaukee lakefront. Stefan Kiba Freeman with a surrealistic take on a landscape Kiba is from the Stevens Point area and a specialist with spray paints. Yeah, Broad parent talking. Uh, oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's Ben Otten from Oconomowoc with his proud father. A nice moment between those two and a nice watercolor painting from Ben. With only a few minutes left in round one, the artists rush to put the final touches on their paintings. Brushes must be down at round's end. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. And that's the end of round one. Attendees had half an hour to view the art and vote for their favorite. Contestants had to wait to learn their fate. And with voting closed for round one, the tallying began. Thirty-two artists are finished and thirty-two are moving on. Round two is on. Contestants now had to paint a community or culture themed painting. The sun is fading and the breeze will not let up and the artists have to stay focused to make okay. it to round three. Uh, the subject is community and culture and I am painting horticulture. Another Milwaukeean, that's Susan Robottom. Susan is an experienced oil painter with an extensive catalog of landscapes. Ben Otten made it to round two. Same with Kiba Freeman and Carol Milos. With competition getting fierce, can they use their momentum from their round one victories to go all the way? It's going to be tough for voters this round. There's some exceptional art being made. 
like this still life of a cup of yogurt by artist David Zimmerman of Milwaukee. And check out this painting from Green Bay native Andrew Linskins. Residing on the northern shores of Lake Michigan has definitely influenced his art. With 30 seconds left in round two, Jenica Bastian from Madison adds a little more shading to this tiger's nose. After another 60 minutes, round two is in the books. Artists turn in their paintings and attendees begin to vote once more. The final tallies of day one are in and the field is cut in half again. 16 artists are advancing to round three. Although many of the artists are going home without that big check, no doubt it was a fun and unique experience. However, those that are moving on have their sights set on day two and the dream of being the 2022 Art 64 champion.